listen guys we had to scramble this morning okay you want to hear me whine or not the Wii boost didn't work as well as we thought we got phenomenal signal for about 30 seconds. It wouldn't hold that signal, and I'm not sure why. I think it's gonna work. We've got some figuring to do. I'm optimistic because probably that's just how I am, but it didn't work, so we couldn't work from our camp, and we both had meetings we had to have, so we had to get into Stanley, try and find signal. We didn't film, okay? I'm sorry. We did stop at a cool cafe and we got some food, we got some coffee, and even that wasn't until 11.45. We also don't have a place to sleep tonight and so we're gonna go, we gotta hook up, be out of our sight in now uh, 40 minutes and we're gonna go find somewhere to camp and try and work the rest of today. It's all gonna get better after today because we don't have to work tomorrow. Right! I need to get cracking. Now, 12.45, 15 minutes to Let's hook go. up. We did it. Supposedly we're three and a half feet too long, but we thought we'd roll through anyways and just see. Very narrow. Yep. All right, well, that settles that. Here at one of those campgrounds that we just blew by yesterday. I'm gonna run up and talk to the campground host before we commit to going around the loops. Just get some information. We'll see. Would you like to stay here? Or do you wanna go somewhere else? You wanna go somewhere else? Or do you not care? Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that feedback. No dice, but he gave me some good information. We can pull through here and turn around. Okay. He said, if you know what you're doing, he said some lady came in here. From the looks of her tracks, she just forgot she had a fifth wheel on. She drugged the son of a bitch. I don't know how she kept from turning it over. She drug it over those rocks. Oh man. Yeah, completely ripped out one of her tanks. Jeez. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you know what you're doing, yeah, yeah. you can make it around here without any problem. Cool. When you get down to the end yeah. of that loop, that's where 11's at. Okay. So uh, as you're turning around, yeah. take a look at 11 okay. and, and tell me what you think. Okay. You know, if you can get them both in there, you're welcome to okay. stay with me, you know? I mean, okay. Great. Sounds good. I mean, we might make a dry run and see if we can tuck it in there. See what you can do. Okay. Sounds Let good. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, what I didn't say is they do have a spot. Yeah, long shot. We just though. can't fit in it. He said we could get the trailer in there, but there's no room for the truck and they don't have any overflow parking. So it's cool. The river's right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an easy angle in there, but not a lot of overhang. If we hugged this side and what? angled it there, yeah. there might be enough room to park okay. the truck yeah. kind of at an angle. Let's try it. Okay. Get out. Yeah. No We're gonna see if we can get it at an angle and then back the truck underneath it. 30, 33 year truck driver, I'm gonna help you. Oh, okay. Top of the wheel to the right. Okay. Yep, come on. All right, top of the wheel. There you go. Come on back. You show me how far back to go. Top of the wheel to the right. Straighten up. Top of yep. the wheel to the left. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Good boys. You did it. This way. Come here. Oh. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. We got back here. Almost passed it on because it really looked 
too small, but uh, Alicia said, you know what, if we angle it a certain way, we might be able to slide the truck beside it. Well, as we're starting to back it in, the host pulls up in his golf cart. He ended up being a great help because as Alicia was guiding me back, he was guiding me on the front. There's some big boulders over there. And we got it in and he's like, eh, it looks good enough. If you just pull your truck perpendicular to the fifth wheel, let's call it good. Huh? Mom. And now we're here. So it's gonna be a beautiful thing. <laughs> so what are we doing? This host is awesome, by the way. Uh -huh. He was like, hey, if you got a National Parks Pass, you get half off your stay. We're like, hey, we had one of those before. He said, well, you can run 15, no. You could run a half mile down the road. A quarter mile. A quarter mile down the road to the ranger station. You could get yourself one for 80 bucks. You get half off your stay at national campgrounds, mm -hmm. national park managed campgrounds. Yeah, like national recreation services, yeah. whatever sites. And it's like all the fees are, are reasonable. So we don't think twice about just paying a fee. Right. But if there's a way to not pay the fee, then why don't we just not pay the fee? Yeah. And like yeah. I told him, if it doesn't pay for itself, we're doing something wrong. Yeah. So we're running down the highway for that. Hold on, it's gonna be bumpy. Yep. Time Bandit RV travels on YouTube. That is awesome. So good. He's got a big old bus. Lots of peace and love going on over there. Yep. He has a sweet Honda dual sport dirt bike. Rad. All right. Sawtooth headquarters. Nice. Right there. That's where I was planning on turning around. And there it lucky, is. Lucky for us. That's a cool spot. I mean, oh, that is cool. Good afternoon and welcome. Thank oh, you so much. You. We're, We're fantastic. Doing well. How are you doing? You know, I'm doing good. We'd like to get a National Park Pass if you could. All right. Where else are you going to travel on this trip? Well, we're probably just going to explore yeah. some of the range over here mm -hmm. and then maybe go up to Stanley mm -hmm. for a little bit. And then that's pretty much it. Yep. Just a couple days and pack it all in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. A lot to see. Yep. Yeah, that's for sure. That's a beautiful thing. Get this. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, that's a thick one. That's awesome. You got this set up well. That's awesome. So you guys want to tour the bus while you're here? Yeah, sure. Might as well. Yeah. Right. We'll start right here with. Oh, nice. The power plant. Yeah. Six golf cart batteries. Seven hundred and forty amp hours there. 2,500 watts of uh, Ames, marine grade, uh -huh. um, 110, 12 volt, 800 watts of solar. Sofa slides out, uh -huh. slatted, turns into a bed, 10 cube fridge, ah. on-demand hot water heater. What's your block countertop? A friend of mine makes for a living. That is beautiful. Yeah, these little cuties right here, slide Very in, slide nice. out. Yep. So we have chalices, uh, storage, <laughs> knife block, glasses, plates. And we got regular like RV mm -hmm. benches, storage underneath. Oh, yeah. The cedar table was made from cedar slats from a, um, a uh, sawmill not far from where I lived in Arkansas when I built nice. the bus. Four burner propane stove, <laughs> microwave, oven. Wow. 100 gallon horse trough, <laughs> bathtub. Great idea. That's perfect. 20,000 BTU propane heater. Okay. Then of course we got the pantry. Then come back here to the captain's quarters. Then we got queen size bed. Two 46 gallon freshwater <laughs> tanks. Yes. Okay. Um, 45 gray, um, all the filtration system, uh, water pumps under here, vessel sink, outside shower. I call it a five gallon bucket toilet because mm -hmm. it's yeah. not a composting. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. You know, everybody says, oh, it's a composting toilet. Uh -huh. Well, really, in all essence, it's not. Mm -hmm. Because a composting toilet takes weeks to to get that process going there's bacteria that has to grow in here and all kinds yeah. of stuff uh and then you dump it every two weeks all, right. you, all you're doing is stirring up poop you know it's not composting anything right. it's stirred up poop so i put a bag in there and then when i'm done in there it goes in with the kitchen trash and yep. it all goes out at the same time and yeah. i'm done That's yeah awesome. you know yeah apple crates were made from scraps from the bus cedar armoire nice for the clothes yeah Pine floor. She's 37 feet long. She weighs 24,000 pounds. It's a wow. uh, 5.9 Cummins diesel. 
Oh, yeah. now we're talking. She gets uh, <laughs> between seven and seven and a half okay. miles to a gallon. Yeah. 100 gallon fuel tank, 16 foot deck on top. Oh, okay. Yeah, with a mount for your beach umbrella. <laughs> Kayaks up there. House on wheels. Very cool. Thanks a lot. Really you appreciate it. Yep. Cool stuff. <laughs> that was nice of them. I'm gonna go outside and chop some kindling before we take off because quiet hours are 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Skeeters are bad. It's a little butane flame. Who wants to go see some Idaho mountain scenery? Mm -hmm. The lake tra trail that we just broke up there? Yep. <laughs> 